Hi, oh, welcome back to France and Ford YouTube. Now I'm going to show you a little trick, it's just a quick little film. Now, I started with nothing, no one helped me, so most of the things we made ourselves. And I'm aware a lot of people are starting out in their sheds with bits and pieces, they can't afford massive great extractors and huge great power hammers, so they improvise a little bit. So I'm going to show you a really sneaky little thing to do here. And I'm going to call it saving your socks because I've been a welder for years and all my socks are full of holes, my t shirts are full of holes. And I'll give you a little demo on what everyone does and it normally happens. So I'm going to cut some up with my gas bowl. So I've got my metal, metal bar, I'm going to rest him on there. Now that's what happens most of the time. I'm going to show you a sneaky way of stopping that. You all end up with holes in your socks, sparks down your boots, sparks down your neck. Where's my shoe gone? Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Now I'm going to show you zip off Weldon's boots. You can't get them off. The spark goes down your neck, comes out between your toes. Or if you're unlucky, then it will land somewhere else. Now what we've done, because we couldn't afford a big cutting table, I've done this. If you come out here, look and have a look. I'll show you a Mark One and I'll show you a Mark Two. Now this is an oil drum. I'll just check it's got nothing flammable in it. I've took the lid off. It's only had oil in it. Make sure there's nothing with fillers or anything that's going to explode. I'm just going to take top off him. There is a bit of oil in there. So what I'll do oh, is a lot bit of oil and a bit of water in there. What we'll do, we'll tip him out somewhere safe. Right, I've emptied the drum out. What I'm going to do now, I'll tip a bit of water in the bottom of it. Now I made a little mesh on my Mark II model, which I'll show you in a minute. But there is a little mesh that sits on there and it sits in there with the drum. So I've got a mesh and a little edge off. Now if I'm welding, I can put the earth on there. When I'm cutting, so when I'm gas cutting, I don't get burnt legs. I can cut through into there. The water takes all the fumes out. Spark him up again, hang on. Now I can stand right next to where I'm working, and I get all sparked up all over the place.
All the fumes go into the pot. If there's something I want to cut and keep, then I'll space it up in here and cut it out of it. Now the other thing which I do is plasma cutting. So down here I've got a little Hypertherm 45 plasma cutter. There, on the side. Where? Top of the guillotine. Now, when you're plasma cutting, you get a lot more fumes. Now, I put my earth on there, but this has got rusty now, but then I can just rest my stuff on. But it's wise, put water in, you don't want to break plasma fumes in, it's really bad for you. But you have the same scenario where you get covered in sparks and they go all over the place. But if you're cutting into the drum, All your sparks are going down into the water. Now because we're plasma cutting, I wanted a Mark II model. I'll show you what I've done, which is another really simple, cheap way. And you can do it in your shed. Now I had a big Miller TIG welder and it blew up. So I took the fan out of it and I'll show you what we've done. Now I cut a hole and put a bit of ducting in it. In this box is the fan out of the Miller welder. So all I do when I'm cutting, you can put it out of wall in your shed. You don't have to be a mega powerful fan. And it's far enough away that the sparks don't affect it. I know the plug's a bit iffy. So there you go, a simple cutting table with a little built-in extraction system. If you don't want your bits that are falling down there and not scrap, all I do is I cut above on a little plate, I'll show you anyway, I cut above it and then you can pick the bits up that you're cutting. So if you're cutting and the actual component that you want, then I just cut above it, it'll still suck it out. That's why there is it. A lot cheaper than thousands of pounds for an extraction system, but you still really, you should wear a mask, and then wherever that's flowing, make sure it's not flowing into your next door neighbor's window.
just keep it away from you. If you put water in the bottom, it filters a lot of the oxide will sit in the water and you can tip it out and the fan just draws it as it will draw through and out. I use even use it if you're painting, doing anything. It's a simple down draft flue extractor. Cost nothing, it's like a tenner for the drum. Easy to make. I've used these for hoods on forges and all sorts. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps everyone. I'll see you again.